Hey guys, welcome back to Joseph Fowler Maker. Today we're going to be tackling the trim. I think this is probably one of the most important steps in the whole process because good or bad trim really makes or breaks a kitchen or in general any project. So this is where we're going to slow down, take our time, and make everything look as nice as possible. So if you guys are wondering what I'm using in these shots, it's actually super glue with an activator. This is what a lot of the pros use to keep their seams nice and tight. So not only will the nails hold it, but this will make sure everything stays together under pressure. Also, when you see me cutting this little piece and gluing it onto the end of my board where my fridge goes in, this is called a mitered return. It's a way to kind of make things look a little nicer than just a straight cut and also allow that trim to go around the corner. Any shot I do, with a uh, time lapse, Stone's completely quiet. Somehow he knows when I'm doing shots that have sound, but what are you gonna do? Crown moldings done. Aaron's here helping me. I'm having her fill holes. Now I gotta do more trim. I gotta get this done. I'm slowing down, guys. It's so much. I'm getting like project uh, claustrophobia or something. Fatigue? Maybe. I, got, I even got my hat on. Oh, the cat's coming to visit. Sticks. Hi, he is running around like crazy. If you noticed, our cat now has three legs. Oh, he had an accident. And had to get his leg amputated. He's walking around like my tripod. <laughs> Moving around pretty quick. Anyways, we gotta finish up here. Well guys, this officially marks the most complicated piece of trim I've ever had to do. <laughs> Aaron's sitting there behind the camera. I, I guess it's... Keys. That is pretty crazy, huh? But I love, I love working with this glue. Um, couple corners I'll have to caulk or fill with, with wood filler, but by the time I'm done, this is gonna look pretty good. I mean, you know, obviously all these pipes that are in the hallway, we had to cover them up, and I think this makes it look pretty nice. Uh, we're, I mean, we're talking tapers, we're talking angles, and uh, before I say any more, I'm gonna nail this thing on before I break it. Uh, I gotta do one to the other side, but it's literally just like two 90s. There's no multifaceted conglomerate of uh, corner power. I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway, it's not this bad. Now, if you guys are wondering what I'm gonna do here, I'm planning on making a threshold that comes out a little bit into the room. There's a little bit of a hump in the floor here, so as long as I bring it out like an inch and a half, and then I have that taper down, it'll come from this point on this trim, taper down into the room. Yeah, that's that for now. I'll caulk the tops of these, but I gotta do the other side. And then besides one piece that goes to the other side of the cabinet, trim is done. We're getting there, we're getting there. <sighs> I am trying to get B-roll. What is going on up there? $100. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you'd think we never fed him. It's the size of a small horse. <laughs> Anyways, guys, the trim is in, except for this piece over here. That, as you can see where the Venetian plaster ends is kind of where the cabinet begins. And then we got a piece of trim that kind of goes up this wall here. Once that's done, all the trim is done, but really there's nothing stopping us from just painting.
with that, guys, I want to say my painting is done. I could be very fussy, and I've already painted the ceiling, then painted the trim again, then painted the ceiling, then painted the trim again. So I've gone through a couple phases here, and I'm thinking it's to the point where it looks pretty darn good, and it's good enough for me. I'm happy with it. With this, we got to peel some tape. It's time for cabinets. I wonder what the point of getting this looking so nice with that looking so crappy, but we're gonna redo these, make these look nice. Just not yet. And that's all for the trim. Now, I think this came out pretty professional looking, which I would hope so, considering I used to do carpentry professionally, but really, it's not that scary, guys. If you have a miter saw and a little bit of patience, I think you guys can do it too. Now, don't forget to tune in next week where we install the cabinets and a bowling alley. Yes, you heard me right. In my kitchen? What's going on? Hey, thanks for watching.